Hello, my wonderful Scorpios. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay. Okay, what's going on for my Scorpios? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So some of you could be involved with the Leo. We have the Ace of Pentacles for you, but we also have the Strength card that showed up in reverse. So I'm just going, going to uh, take it the way that it has come out here. Um, I see this as actually a positive thing, Scorpio. I see some sort of like you being offered something very stable and someone who may have been held back or there um, could have been a block in this connection, that block is being removed, right? Strength in reverse is someone who is no longer held back. It could be an energetic block, like I said, that is being removed from this connection. But I do feel like it's like an, it's a stable offer or something that's going to make you very happy. This person wants a commitment with you. The reason I say that is the Ace of Pentacles could be read as like the path to marriage as well. Um, so let's clarify what's going on. Yeah, Page of Wands wanted to pop out here. So I feel like for many of you, you're receiving some sort of a message that makes you very happy. You could be connecting with someone where the conversations are very exciting. Maybe you're, um, you know, you're constantly looking forward to hearing from this person. There's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of desire. There's a lot of passion. Okay. Let's see. So we have the Emperor. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. And then we have the Judgment, which is your energy. Yeah, I see someone taking control. It's like this person could have been very held back or there was um, some sort of restrictions that they may have felt in this connection. But I see a change that you are going to be very happy about. And the Emperor is, you know, taking control or, or wanting to take accountability, maybe even for past actions here. But they want to show up as, or they want to show up for you. They want to be action oriented here. You're going to see a different side of this person. Um, so let's start off by seeing how they're viewing you this week. Okay, three of swords. Okay, what's in the, yeah, the fool card. There's something about a new beginning here, Scorpio. Like this person definitely wants a new beginning with you. And like I said, a lot of passion and attraction. But with the three of swords, they may be viewing you as someone who is um, hurt. Okay, so you could be going through an emotional loss um, or you could be hurting because of something else and they're aware of that. Even if you didn't specifically communicate what's wrong, they're viewing you as like feeling hurt or feeling torn in this situation, okay? Um, for others of you, it could be read as like this person trying to pursue you, but they feel like you're trying to move on from a situation or you're still actively healing from something that has happened in your past here, okay? But there is an energy of them really viewing you as, I love Scorpio, but I feel like Scorpio is torn or I feel like there's some sort of hurt that they're trying to work through. Now, the Fool and the King of Wands in the challenge position, I don't really see it as a challenge. I actually see it as someone feeling confident, you know, building the courage to pursue things with you or pursue some sort of a new beginning here. It's just interesting in terms of how they're viewing you versus what their um, next actions are towards you, right? Like wanting to pursue you, feeling very confident about that. But I feel they're not as confident about how you feel towards them. And even if it is someone that you have history with, they may feel like you're still holding on to something or you're still healing from the past with them. But they feel like you guys are not on the same page because this person seems more ready to pursue something with you or they want to leave the past behind. So that could be the reason why these two cards are coming up in the challenge position. Someone who wants a new beginning with you, but they know that it's not just going to be like, you know, a walk in the park. Okay, how are you viewing them? The Six of Pentacles. 
there's something about you feeling neglected in this situation or your intuition is telling you that this person could possibly be um, a little busy or they're more focused on another situation. Now, I don't really see this as a third party situation, but for some of you, it's like this person, for example, could be very busy and you're wondering if they're actually going to make the time for you. Um, you may feel like they have a jam packed schedule or there's someone who um, has many responsibilities. So there's something about you kind of wondering, is this person going to be able to make time for this relationship for me? Are they ready? Are they actually ready for what they're asking for? Mm -hmm. You're also viewing this person as someone that you're very generous with. You know, Six of Pentacles could be you assisting someone. It doesn't always have to be financially, but that could be the case for some of you. Um, but there's something about like, are you actually ready for what you're asking um, for or what you're desiring? There's some sort of proof that you want to see or they you want to see more action from this person, which I feel like you will uh, because we did see the emperor as well here. Okay, what's going on in your feelings? Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. You want a future with this person. You are thinking about the future. You are thinking about a commitment, but you know that it's going to take time. So here's the thing with the Ten of Pentacles. As much as it speaks of stability or um, you know generational wealth or a higher level of commitment, when you have it coming out with the Knight of Pentacles, you this week are starting to understand that this is something that is not going to be an overnight process. This is something that you guys could potentially attain together, but it's going to not only require patience, it's going to require persistence, right? And there's something that you're really trying to be very cautious about and you're saying, let's do this or I'm ready to do this, but I want to take it one step at a time. I do believe you want to invest in this situation with this person, but you also want to know that you could feel safe. You also want to know that your investment is going to be worthwhile in terms of you know, this person meeting you halfway and you, you know, not wanting to feel like you're the only one putting forth the effort or this person's going to leave you hanging. Like you have a lot of questions about whether this person is all in or all not, uh, or, or they're, or if they're not like, there's something about you being a little bit skeptical. Um, we have the five of swords. Yeah, exactly. Cause you're skeptical. Five of swords is like mental conflict. It's, uh, you going back and forth in your mind and knowing that you need to make a decision, but not wanting to do something abruptly. Here's what's interesting. You have the knight of pentacles in your feelings, which is like a very premeditated energy. It is like, I need to think about every possible outcome or I need to think about everything thoroughly before I come to a decision. But then you have the tower, which is kind of the opposite. It's a very abrupt energy. It's very unexpected. Um, but the tower could also be like a realization that you're having. So as you're going back and forth in your mind this week with that five of swords, and as you're feeling conflicted, uh, Scorpio, with the tower, you're going to have a realization of what to do. So many of you, you feel like you've been on a hamster wheel or you feel like you have been trying to find a solution or wanting a breakthrough, but there's something that you're, that is going to be coming to light for, for you, but it's also going to assist you in making like a decision or, um, gaining more clarity on where this connection is headed. Hmm. Five of Swords in the Tower, I feel like for some of you, like, you don't feel prepared in one way or another. It's not to say that you're in a non-committal energy and you don't want a commitment because I see the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles in your feelings, but maybe there's an energy of, yes, I want a commitment, but I want to work towards that. Or yes, I want to place a title on what we have, but I want to work towards that. Like I want the bond to feel strong. I want us to be strong before I think about, you know, placing titles or, you you know, it, like there's something here where you feel like you're not prepared entirely. And there's something about wanting to, again, take your time and and also wanting to feel comfortable prior to just, again, diving into the situation here. Okay, the Fool card is being clarified by the Ten of Swords, the King of Wands, Ace of Cups. Yeah. So what I see here, Scorpio, is like 
a painful ending, but it's resulting in this beautiful new beginning for you, but you're not sure if you entirely trust this situation, right? So I can read it as someone that you've had a painful ending with, or the Ten of Swords could just be something you had to go through in your past. It doesn't necessarily have to correlate or go hand in hand with the connection that you have with this individual here. But I see someone who is very determined to pursue you, someone who has a lot of love for you, but they can sense some sort of hurt or they can they feel they need to be patient because you don't trust people easily or you're taking a while to allow them into your space and i'm not saying whether this is right or wrong i'm just reading the energy like this person could definitely sense that you have some sort of a barrier up because of the pain that you've endured in your past i also see here with the king of wands and the ace of cups like not only is there a lot of attraction, this person is really excited to um, get to know you on a deeper level. Like they may view you as someone where you have a lot of layers and there's like, they just don't know what to expect with you, but in a good way. Or they feel like every time they speak to you, they learn something new about you. You're not necessarily an open book, right? When you meet people is how they view you, but you do open up, you know, um, slowly or little by little and that's something that they um, appreciate or that's something that they find to be exciting kind of like you know I want to learn more about Scorpio or there are so many things about Scorpio that I don't know and, and you know it's slowly being revealed so I do see um, excitement surrounding that the full card being clarified by the Ten of Swords, the message behind that um, could be when you do have an opportunity in front of you, okay, but you are somehow projecting your past or letting something that occurred in the past cause you to feel defeated, right? And so I'm not telling you or this person to get over the past or anything of that sort. You know, it's obviously easier said than done, but just be aware or just be just acknowledge the fact that you know when if you're thinking about the past a little too much or you're thinking about a betrayal a little too much that can draw you away from an opportunity that is not going to end the same way as a situation that hurt you in the past so it's like a message of being in your own way whether that applies to you or this person here okay um so in their feelings ace of wands wow and the Four of Cups, okay, the Six of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. This person really wants to know how you feel. The reason why they feel torn is even if you're connecting with them, they can't really tell where they stand when it comes or where you stand when it comes to the emotional department. They can't tell if they actually play a, an important role in your life or if they're just someone that you're connecting with because there's something about, yes, trying to figure you out, but there's really this strong um, energy of wanting to know how you feel about them. I will also say there's a lot of fantasizing going on, okay? Ace of Wands and the Four of Cups could be someone who is, uh, you know, not only very attracted to you, but there's a lot of fantasizing in terms of how they want to prove um, their attraction towards you. And you guys can read in between the lines of that, right? So Six of Wands and the Two of Pentacles is wanting a successful outcome, right? Wanting your attention, wanting you to focus on them. And with the Two of Pentacles, there is that that back and forth energy, right? Of does Scorpio feel the same way? There is also this back and forth energy in terms of this person dealing with a lot. And I think that you're aware of this because you're viewing them in the Six of Pentacles energy, which is like, you know that this person has something else going on in terms of like, maybe they're, they're a workaholic or maybe they, um, you know, just have a lot of responsibilities. There's something about them feeling like there's a lot going on, but they can't help but think about you or the situation with you. Okay, a lot of attraction, very fiery energy here. Um, so we have the five of wands followed by the devil in the potential outcome. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. What's the five of wands? The three of pentacles, the devil, the page of pentacles. I see this person pursuing you. Three of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles is someone who wants to not only connect with you, they want to work together. And they, when they think about the future, they could genuinely see the both of you uh, being on the same page or the both of you, even if it needs to be, even if there needs to be a compromise, they see the both of you working things out. 
okay? But when you have the five of wands and the devil coming out in the potential outcome as the first two cards, I will say there could be a conflict or some sort of internal battle that they're facing, okay? Or this is someone who really wants to prove themselves to you. And with the five of wands, there could be a little bit of, you know, conflicting energies. Five of wands could be, you know, things that lack importance, like external influences. But it somehow impacts the connection with you. Nine of wands, okay? And then we have the knight of cups, yeah. I don't really see that being in the way of them pursuing you or connecting with you. But I will say there is an energy of needing to let go of the past because... The devil and the five of wands could be like a reoccurring conflict or something that is not serving the both of you, but it's still, um, you know, continuing or it's still progressing. So that's something that this person is acknowledging, but with the devil upright, they're still going through it or finding, you know, a solution here. I also feel, guys, that this is going to be a connection that is extremely intense. Um, the five of wands and the devil is someone who is very determined to pursue you for one Scorpio. There's a little bit of a possessive energy or territorial, whatever you want to call it, not in a dramatic way, but this person is extremely determined to pursue you is what I see and how they feel about you um, very strongly. And the attraction is something that they can't deny either. So I feel like the chemistry between the both of you is extremely strong. So in the potential outcome, not only are you going to be acknowledging that, I think that this is a connection that could feel very, very intense at times. Kind of like, why can I stop thinking about this person? Or um, when you're with this person, you may feel that you forget about everything else. Like it's, it could be a connection that you become very easily consumed by. So that may be something you want to, um, you know, just acknowledge or be aware of, but uh, that's pretty much what I see here. And I also see this person again, just being very determined to um, pursue you. And five of wands is someone who's like, you know what, it doesn't matter about, or, you know, it doesn't matter what obstacles are there. I want to work through those obstacles or I'm, you know, determined to pursue Scorpio regardless of any of these um, external influences. Okay. So my wonderful Scorpios, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.